first interview is a rapper, a DJ, an actor, all round entertainer. Yes, goes yes. by the name of Phoenix. Welcome to the East Side Kid. Thank you, thank you. It's your first time to the East Side Kid. Welcome. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> and now, uh, w when you were growing up, yeah. because you grew up in Nairobi, yes. if you grew up in Nairobi, by the way, guys, uh, wow. uh, what was your musical influence? Oh. Well, to be honest, music just grew on me. Like, uh, I would sing along to all these good pop songs and everything growing up, right? And I would be on the corners with my, with my friends, like, rapping and all this stuff. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I would, I, there was no certain genre or certain artist that influenced me in music. It's just a general thing. Just like a general all thing. Yeah, all-round thing, yeah. All-round thing. So yeah. you were listening to everything from R&B, hip-hop, yes. soul, everything. Exactly. So who was like your influence uh, in terms of like your favorite artist, like a favorite album? You see, the thing about me, like I have no favorite artist to be honest. Um, I think every artist has uh, individual talents and individual way of bringing out their music or approaching people mm. so for me i never had a favorite artist never i still do not right mm. so all music all music influenced me to be honest yeah all music influenced yeah. you when you were starting uh, uh you remember your first track my first track yeah yeah it was from a mixtape your mixtape when you mixed it mixtape, yes do you remember uh, what you put down what was <laughs> going through your mind when you were writing the, the lyrics to your first track actually to um you see the thing is like i used to um i was managing uh, americana in dubai at that time yeah. i did a uh, restaurant management and when i go back to nairobi i was like okay i think i need to do something for myself because i've always been passionate about music um fashion and all this stuff the entertainment industry right mm. so i just came back and i was like you know what i'm not gonna work for anyone anymore i'm just gonna do something that i'm passionate about so I got into music, I got into fashion and all that stuff, and it was doing good for me. Mm. My first song, I don't know what was going through my mind, but to be honest, I was kind of recycling things that I wrote before. Like, I was trying to see first, like, the, the feedback. From trying it. to test the water. Exactly, yes. What, what did you find it <coughs> tricky uh, starting out in Nairobi? Because, like, uh, uh, the, the type of music we consume in Nairobi in terms of hip hop and rap, yes. uh, most of it we call it kapuka. Okay. Yeah. So, did you find it difficult <coughs> to get into the market? Well, to be honest, um, I didn't find it difficult because I was doing it for myself. I yeah. wasn't trying to compete with the local scene. You, or you weren't trying to like no. uh, break into the market no, just no, yet. No. I was trying to do something for myself. Like I said, I was trying to. I'm passionate about music yeah. and all this. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna do it, and it wasn't too hard because I have a lot of friends who are like in the in the uh, industry already. Industry already, right? Okay. Producers, DJs, and etc. So I just, I just hit up one of my friends. I was like, "Hey, could you work? With, can we work on a tape together?" Like, "Okay, no worries," and we did it. But your first mixtape, you weren't too happy about it. Not at all. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. too happy. Well, cause the reason, the reason was cause um, the producer himself, he's an EDM uh, producer. So he's not really like he's a, not a, hip -hop. a rap hip hop no, uh, he's producer. A so he yeah. didn't know what to do with the vocals. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't, it wasn't a hundred percent. So I wasn't really happy with it, but uh, I still put it out there to see the feedback. It wasn't bad. I actually got a show out of that mixtape. It was yeah. very funny, yeah. So how would you describe your style of hip hop? I don't know. I, it's just a misf I'm just a misfit, to be honest. My style is... It's 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 all styles mixed in one, I guess. It's just combined. <laughs> it's combined, yeah. Uh, yeah. But if you really had to describe it... Oh, it's, it's unique, it's unique, <laughs> it's unique yeah. if I really had to describe myself, it would be unique. Uh, the the hip-hop scene, like uh, we were saying earlier, it's kind of different, it's Kapuka, but now East Africa in general. Yeah. Uh, what are the challenges for a hip-hop artist in East Africa? Actually, none. If, unless the challenges as an artist is more of the production, um, recording time, studio time, and visuals and for me like I, I i got my own equipment i got my own st home studio and everything because you're also a videographer exactly so yeah. i can i can i can record my own song i can video my i can uh, video my own song and put it out there i can edit the whole song and put it out there so challenges as an artist mm. are would probably be that in terms of funding their projects you know like if you want to drop a tape so or the main EP, challenge would be monetary yes exactly uh, but uh, the there's been challenge. some stories though yeah. And not just uh, with hip hop artists, with artists in general, uh, you know, the managers, the show promoters, yeah. they don't want to pay our people. So no, they don't. have you ever faced such a situation? To be honest, no, uh. no. We had, a, we had a studio before, Headspace Africa, 
We worked with the producers like uh, Kusma, Marcus from Pat Mula, and worked with all those people. And to be honest, our setbacks and, and artist setbacks there was all about studio time and you know, all that, that was their setback. Like they had no problem with recording and all that stuff, but the other stuff was really hard for them. Mm. And me, myself as an artist, uh, my major setback was producers. I have worked with so many producers. And Just to get that sound that you want. The sound, and the thing is that really, uh, I've, been, I've, been, like, I've been let down by producers. Like, mm -hmm. I've laid out so many projects. I have so many songs that are pending still, you know? And at the end of the day, the producer decides, you know, not to release the music or to ghost you or something like that. That has been my major setback as an artist. The producers. The producers, yes. It's crazy, it's crazy, yeah. because I think that's yeah. actually true. Most of the time, uh, there's this individual sound, like we were saying even before the interview so started, yeah. there's this Afropop sound that mm -hmm. is flooding the market. Okay. That makes it hard for someone who's doing uh, alternative genres, yes, like exactly. hip-hop or yes. blues or jazz or whatever. Yes. Yes. They're hard to mix, hard to master. People yes. don't know what to do with the vocals. Yes. So it is challenging, it's I can see that. It's very challenging, yes, it's very challenging. Uh, okay. The challenges aside, <laughs> what's your highlight uh, since you started your career? What's the highlight of your career? The highlights? I don't know, uh, I don't know how to put it. Well, I've, I've done a lot of shows. Not a lot, I wouldn't say a lot of shows. I've done a few shows here and there. Um, because of my page on Instagram has really helped me grow as a person. Mm -hmm. Instagram would be at my highlights, you know. It's got me so many gigs, you know. It's got me interviews, it's got me shows. Um, I guess that's it, yeah, to be honest. Like, in Instagram has really helped me grow as a Your as Instagram artist. growth. Yeah, my uh, Instagram growth. So yeah. the music helped that? Everything, actually. You see, I'm or was it the other way around? Your Instagram is helping your music. It's, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It, my Instagram has really helped me out with my music, with my fashion and everything. Mm. Yeah. But, when, okay, now when you look at uh, your music, your style of music right yeah. now, which we, we are going to call unique. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the unique style, uh, yeah. uh, how would you say it's changed ever since you started, from the time you started oh, yeah. to now? Um, um, when, I started, when I started doing music, yeah. I didn't have the confidence. Mm. But my confidence built with time. Mm. Like uh, before, when I was recording with a producer, like, say, Marcus Kusma, I would literally be shaking up and like, oh my God, I need to do my best. And my vocal range wasn't there and my lyrics weren't all there. But it, with time, I, I met so many different producers and I, you know, I, I strengthened up, I toughened up my mind and my lyrics got better and stuff like that. I grew, my growth is really well. My, I can see my growth as a, as a music as artist. As an artist. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you um, said also your lyrics have changed. Oh okay. yes, a lot. So what yeah. can you say is your main influence with regard to your lyrics? Like, I know right now you're working on two EPs. Yes, exactly. So what's your main influence? Just life. Mm. Life, life is actually my influence, yeah. Mm. And what aspects of it? The relationships, or <laughs> <laughs> uh, hanging out with the boys, yeah. or hustling? Yeah, all that. All that? All that, all that. Life in general is my influence, yeah. Uh, there's, there's a and question experience. DJ Lil Russian wanted me to ask. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, are you sure it's me? It's Phoenix single. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why do we have to go there? Um, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not single. Uh, does Is it uh, me or it's you asking? Okay, Chesa <laughs> 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 uh, it's, it's all right. It's do you find right. it difficult uh, to, right. to, because, you know, entertainment yes. and what comes with it is, okay. uh, you know, the attention that you yes, get. Yes, yes, Like yes. you said, your Instagram is popping right oh, yeah, now. Oh, yeah, it is, it is, yeah. Uh, do you find it difficult? Uh, well, my girlfriend <laughs> does not understand my lyrics at all. Uh, That's the best part. You know, I could be saying anything about women, all this stuff, but she doesn't understand. So it's, it's that's a good thing for me. <laughs> she's, she's Asian, she's Chinese. Uh. So, like, she's not too good with the hip-hop scene and everything, yeah. So she's not really interested uh, in that world. Not really, but she does bug me when it comes to women. She's always trying to, you know, check my DMs and stuff like that. Uh. Uh, it's not too hard, it's not too bad. Yeah, it could be better. Could be better. It could be better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and now uh, this is a question before we wind up there's a question we were asking earlier yes please uh, with regard to relationships okay uh, how much influence should your parents have in your relationship what do you think about that mm, it's a good question well uh, I think none to be honest like um, you're an individual person you know 
you have your own feelings and you have your own life. So I don't think anybody else in this world should be able to, to have a say in your life, in your personal life especially. With parents, I know most of the parents would like to have a say in their child's relationship and life, you know. But for me, growing up, my parents have always been open-minded and everything. They let me date whoever I wanted to date. Mm. They never told me who and who not to date. You know, all that's, all those rules and regulations for me, they were never there grow growing up. So I really don't think they should, you know, because I've seen a lot of people who have their parents have influence in their relationships, and it's, it's disastrous. Mm. It's really disastrous. Yeah. So they should just uh, leave you guys alone. Just let you be. Let mm. yeah. Let let your child be. You know, I mean, like. It's their life at the end of the day. You can't, your, your, heart will, your heart wants what it wants, you know what I mean? You can't tell somebody to date this person just because it's this tribe or this religion and blah, yeah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, especially know? those ones, That's yeah. really petty. Yeah. That's really petty. Especially I've seen it happen to a lot of people and it's just really petty. If you're a parent, you should be able to allow people to be people. themselves and exactly. be with whoever they, they want. They want to do because at the end of the day, it's their heart, you know, it's their, they're the ones with the feelings to the person. So I don't think they should have a say in any relationship. Mm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Agreed? I said, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, well. It's more or less like what I said in the morning. No. It Actually, is. I said we it were was saying like the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's only because <laughs> you're here. Okay. But she's <laughs> on your side. What? Wait, what? You're on my side. We, we have the same yeah. views. We okay, have the same good. views about it, yeah. Okay. Perfect. You guys, you can still let us know what you think about that topic. It's how much influence should your parents have in your relationship? Uh, that's on Y254, the East Circuit on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And of course, Mr. Phoenix has a new track. We're going to debut that track right now. Uh, can you tell Perfect. us a bit about it, uh, the latest one? Midnight Dreams? Yes. Oh, yeah, I linked up with this really good producer. The chemistry was off the roof. And we just, he just played me an instrumental. And I was like, wow, OK. Wrote the whole song in one day, finish it up, mm. and we we'll released it in the, on the third day. It was perfect. The oh, on the YouTube description, I saw it was uh, in bracket mid nineties. Mid nineties. Uh, yeah. Uh, what does that mean? Because uh, I saw midnight dreams in bracket mi like, uh, mid nineties. So the lyrics go midnight dreams. Mid that the Air Max is from the mid nineties. Ah. Like the shoes from the mid nineties. Uh -huh. So we like that mid nineties swag. You get me? Uh huh. Yeah, it's all about that, yeah. <laughs> where, where can people find your music aside from uh, uh, YouTube? Right now, I'm actually only doing YouTube and SoundCloud, to be honest. I haven't really tapped into the whole um, Spotify and Apple Music and that. But mm -hmm. I will, of course. But yeah, SoundCloud and YouTube. Mm. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for coming through. You're most welcome. Uh, it's your boy Phoenix. Is Phoenix. that the Instagram? Your boy Phoenix. Yeah. Your, boy your boy Phoenix, Phoenix on Instagram. Like he said, it's popping right now. Just make sure you don't uh, send some weird DMs. <laughs> <laughs> the lady's yeah. checking them out. <laughs> uh, this is Phoenix yeah. with Midnight Dreams.